Hello, this is April Clemmer and Alisa Jordan. Hi, we are your Platinum Guide to Los Angeles and we are about to um, make one of Alisa's dreams come <laughs> true today. <laughs> Where are we about to go? We are about to go into the Whatever Happened to Baby Jane house <gasps> and I feel like my entire life has been leading up to this one day. So this is a big moment for us and um, come along. Yeah, we don't know how much we can film in there so um, you know, we'll do what we can and then we will tell you all about it afterwards. So we will see you in a little while. Here we are at the house. If you're familiar with the movie, you know exactly where we are. Cause the house is basically a character in the movie. So here we are, come around this way. The, the entrance, the gate is exactly the same. And of course here we have the gate that starts off the whole movie where the car crashes into the neighbor's house was also used in the movie and we see this house featured prominently too in the background when they're at the front door so this is a very exciting moment to walk through that door and those gates i can hardly contain myself so we are inside. Here's the front foyer where they would have met Edwin. Those are the real gates. You can see the house across the street that would have also been visible in the movie. The staircase, of course, where they take Blanche her trays. And the living room where you would have found a piano suitable for playing My Heart Belongs to Daddy. And there you go, there's a piano. So let's step down. That piano is sold. So this is where the Hudson sisters would have performed for one another before the accident, of course. And then Jane takes it up again with her partnership with Edwin. Now in the real house, we go back here to a little den area. Library. Dining room. The dining room. It leads out to the pool in the backyard. There's the foyer and the kitchen where a lot of the movie takes place. There There's the back porch of the neighbors. This house was also used in the filming. And of course, over here, that is where Blanche was trying to throw a note for help. And then the porch. Now Jane would have pulled her car up this driveway and into that garage, which is no longer a garage. Here, I'll take you in there. Swimming pool, where they have a couple of movie stars and former child star and the driveway. So this driveway and the gate in front of us, there's the kitchen. Okay. So this is where the movie opens. As you'll recall from the plot, um, Blanche crashes her car into the gates which causes her to be paraplegic. But Jane is so drunk, she doesn't remember that she's not the one who caused the accident. So she goes through life believing she crippled her sister and it's her responsibility to care for her. So that's what starts off the movie. 
and of course the neighbor's house across the street which is visible throughout the movie as well so this house and this neighbor's house are also part of the movie so this is the kitchen as you can see it looks pretty different from it did how it did in the movie so most of the camera angles are from this direction and then we go out to the backyard so this is the porch where a lot of the movie took place okay judging from where you can see the neighbor's balcony which is right there or the neighbor's porch i should say this would have been Blanche's room. This is where she would have been trying to get the neighbor's attention. Which means, oh, hey April. <laughs> <laughs> the bed would have been against this wall. And in real life, we have this little nook right here. So Elisa was the baby Jane house, everything you hoped it would be? Pretty much. What was your favorite thing? Probably seeing the front door open up to the staircase where Jane and Elvira would have taken Blanche's trays up to her room. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Yay. Yay. This was fun. Yes, and we also found out that the woman who owned the house was named Sarah Loomer, who survived three concentration camps and she came to this country and became an author. So look her up, apparently. Um, I'm, I was just looking her up right now and she is an author and the woman was telling us she had won woman of the year for something. So I'm going to do research into her. But in the meantime, um, look up Sarah Loomer because she is an example of what we can accomplish when we um, apply ourselves and after we go through something very difficult, which I think a lot of us can uh, relate to especially lately yeah all right well thank you guys for watching and bye. going into the baby james house with us <laughs> bye that, i just wanted to say bye too that's all <laughs> <laughs> bye thanks guys join us next time